Our Swing Thought series spotlights the mental approach to the game as we seek advice from the world's leading professionals on playing those big shots under pressure. Today, a man who shone at the Masters and who's won four times on the European Tour, Denmark's Søren Kjeldsen. You pick one thing and you stick to that no matter what. And it has to be something simple. The brain, can't, it doesn't work like you can put 10 things in and still do the movement nicely. So you gotta pick one thing, stick to that and make it simple. And I think the big fault or the big problem is that when you go and play, if you know what you set out with doesn't really work out, you jump to something else and then you hit a bad shot and then you jump and jump and jump. And at the end of the round, you haven't really learned anything. So at least if you stick to one thing, you, you hit plenty of shots so you can actually evaluate what happened and what you learned. That's all you can hope for when you play. You need to learn a little bit every day. And if you jump from one thing to another when you play, you're not going to learn anything. So the clearest thoughts I've ever had was uh, I was playing the, the Wentworth tournament in 2009. I was playing in the last group with Casey. I was probably one or two behind standing on the 15th tee. It's a very tough hole, tough par four. But I felt like if I wanted to win the tournament, I had to hit a driver. So I remember very clearly standing on that tee with my driver. And the only thought I had was that if I'm going to hit a bad shot here, I'm going to hit it 110%. So, in, you know, it got me out of results. It got me totally committed to the shot. And just the whole idea that, you know, if I hit a bad shot, I'm okay with that as long as I do it, you know, committed. So uh, I got there and, and I hit a great drive, hit it down there, hit an 8-iron up and made birdie. And didn't win the tournament in the end, but uh, it gave me a chance of winning it. That's what we go through all the time. Amateurs can use that as well, because, you know, like I said before, with the jumping and all that, you need to pick one thing and you need to stick to that and you need to commit to that. And that's the only thing that you'll learn. And, you know, end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. Learn every day so we can improve. You know, there's a lot to be said about technical instruction um, but there's a lot more to the game you know you need to feel it you need to experience yourself you need to see a coach who can tell you something but you need an open mind you need to play around with it I've had a lot of technical uh, instruction in my life especially on the long game that would be my tip for amateurs have an open mind play around there's not just one guy who's gonna tell you what to do and then everything's gonna be great you have to go and explore as well and and that's part of having a bit of a broader perspective.